Hi, my name is Katie Perfit. Have you ever been to the Museum of History across the river from Parliament Hill? I've been going there every summer since I was a little kid. I remember learning about the Arctic for the first time there, being in awe of the beautiful totem poles in the First People's Hall, and each time leaving with a deeper appreciation for the planet we live on. Little did I know that Big Oil had plans to use the museum to provide cover to some of the world's most destructive companies. Today, I work with an organization called 350.org. We work around the world to build a people-powered movement, standing up to the people most responsible for the climate crisis, Big Oil. Massive oil companies like Shell, Exxon, and TransCanada are wrecking our water, land, and climate. To get away with it, they pay lobby groups big bucks to sell their dirty works to politicians and the public. The biggest oil lobby in Canada is called the Canadian Association of Petroleum Producers, or CAP. CAP worked closely with Stephen Harper to dismantle environmental protections for Canada's rivers, lakes, coastlines, parks, endangered and protected species, and protections for our climate. Even today, CAP meets regularly with government to push tar sands expansion. They're even lobbying to make it so that a federal carbon tax would give money back to big oil, the same people that the tax is supposed to stop from polluting. Here in Canada, standing up to big oil means standing up to CAP. And that's where the Museum of History comes in. CAP sponsors a number of exhibits in the museum, including a three-story exhibit celebrating Canada's 150th anniversary. In exchange, they receive brand promotion in the museum and exclusive access to events with our political leaders. Not only that, CAP has a history of meddling with museum content. CAP might just be Canada's most dangerous lobbyist, with anti-climate action and anti-environmental protection agenda that ignores Indigenous rights. They threatened the very landscapes and cultures I first learned about and fell in love with at the Museum of History. Our trusted museums shouldn't be a platform for oil companies who try to block policies to protect people and the planet. If one of the most iconic museums in the country was to cut ties with big oil, it would send a powerful message to people and decision makers across the country that the age of big oil lying to public for their own gain is over. That's why I am speaking up and calling on the Museum of History to cut its ties with CAP. Will you speak up with me? Sign the petition today and ask your family and friends to sign on too. CAP has already secured its place on the wrong side of history. If thousands of us all across Canada speak up together, we can make sure that the Museum of History stands on the right side.